it's time to show you guys the best jump shot on NBA 2K24. Now this is a funny year so far because basically everybody that I've seen or gone against in the park this year struggles to shoot. Besides me, I shoot pretty consistently. You see, my teammates, well, they happen to be one of them. But if you guys have played park, you know it seems like everybody is struggling to shoot this year. But after you watch this video, I guarantee you will shoot better than before you watched it. I'll be showing you guys so much to help. Stay tuned. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys everything you need to know to just shoot better. With obviously the most important, the best jump shot in the game. But before I show you guys my jump shot, I want to show you everything that you can do in this game to shoot better that has nothing to do with your jump shot. Settings, hotspots, boosts, everything you need to know will be in this video if you want to shoot better. All right, I know you guys want to see the jump shot. We want to just get all right, I know you guys want to see the jump shot. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into the video. But before I do, if you're new to the channel and you're ready for 2K24 content or this video helps you out, do not hesitate to drop a like or subscribe and let's get into it. All right, now really quickly, before I show you guys, like I said, everything you need to know to improve your jump shot, I want to prove to you that this jump shot is actually cash. So you see my teammate, he's still struggling to shoot this game. I don't blame him. Like I said, every it seems like everybody's struggling to shoot. But you guys are going to see me. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm perfect. Just like everybody else, I have my games. This game does feel inconsistent sometimes when it comes to shooting. But out of everybody that I've played with, I've played against, and I've watched, I honestly think I'm one of the best shooters. And this jump shot is one of the main reasons. So I will show you guys a jump shot after this gameplay. You see, it'll only be two more three-pointers. So... I hope you're not in a rush, but before I show you the jump shot, like I already said, I'll show you guys settings, everything you need to know. I've, as you see, this jump shot looks cash though. It's a high release point. It's super quick. The base looks good. I really, really think you guys are going to enjoy this jump shot. That's enough of the gameplay for now. Let me show you guys everything you need to shoot better on 24. All right, so I know a lot of you guys, you just want to see the jump shot, but there's a few important things that will just make you shoot way better than just a good jump shot. Now, obviously the jump shot is the most important thing, but these things can... Now, obviously the jump shot is the most important thing, but these little things, these settings, these badges, everything that I'm about to show you will make you shoot even better. All right, so the first thing I want to show you guys here is the settings. Now, you want to go to controller settings, and this is basically where everything that has to do with your jump shot or what you want to do with it settings-wise is going to be. So first things first, vibration doesn't matter. They made it so you, your controller doesn't vibrate when you shoot anymore because of zens. Shot timing, I would recommend shots and layups just so you can shoot and dunk with the analog stick if you need to, but that doesn't have anything to do with your jump shot. And now here's probably the most important thing besides your actual jump shot is your shot timing visual cue. As you can see, I use push, and if you guys remember from 2K23, how it used to be very early, early, late, and very late, push is basically late. Jump is very early, set point is early, like I said, push is late, and then release is very late. I think push works best for this jump shot, and honestly, most jump shots, I would recommend using push. Now, here's another big one, is your jump shot meter you really really need to turn this off mike wang confirmed before 2k24 came out that just having your jump shot meter off increases your green window size by 20 percent that is huge so if you haven't already definitely turn this off the rest of these don't really matter because they have something to do with the jump shot meter which like i just said you should have off so the like shot meter color all that stuff doesn't really matter definitely put perfect release on so you can see when you green perfect release location is just personal preference and then that's it the rest of these settings have nothing to do with jump shots those are just the important ones and like i said the most important is definitely your shot timing visual cue i would recommend push and next is boost now i know they do cause vc so it, it can pile up get a little expensive but every game I would recommend buying jump shot boost I feel like there's no reason not to it's 1500 VC for 10 I don't think you need Gatorade you don't need anything else but I would definitely recommend the jump shot boost it will help you out and lastly before I show you guys my jump shot 
is these hot zones. As you can see, they added something new this year called lethal, which is even better than hot. You see, basically all around the three-point line, I have hot zones. And then since I'm a lefty and I like to work the top of the key and the right wing, that's where I shoot from the most. That is where I'm lethal from. So if you combine all that, your hot zones, the best settings, the jump shot boosts, obviously have a decent rating, have good shooting badges, and put this jump shot on that I'm about to show you, you should be shooting really good after this video. And let's get to it. The jump shot is JT Thor base, Oscar Robertson upper release one, Cam Johnson upper release two, blending 65% Oscar Robertson, 35% Cam Johnson, and release speed max. Now, I've seen people say, why do you have your release speed all the way up? You should just put it three quarters, it shouldn't be max. But the thing that I realized is that is the big reason on the jump shot timing cue. Remember how I have it on push, which is basically late from 2K23? That makes it so no matter what jump shot you have on, you should always have the fastest release speed because your jump shot timing, you can manually set it with that jump shot cue. And I don't know where this JT Thor jump shot came from, but people got the game early. People were talking about this jump shot. So when the game did come out, when I ended up getting on, this is literally the first jump shot I threw on. And as you guys saw from that first gameplay and these gameplays I'm about to show you, this jump shot is absolutely cash. And look at the bottom right real quick. I know for timing stability, it says D minus, but trust me, it says that for like every shot that you make, that is the least important one. A release height, A defensive immunity, a release speed, the fast jump shot, it looks smooth, it feels smooth. I would definitely recommend putting this shot on if you haven't. And if that first gameplay didn't convince you, I'll show you one or two more that should hopefully convince you to put this jump shot on. So if you haven't already, put that jump shot on. Now, obviously the most important part of that jump shot is the base. That's the most important part of any jump shot is your base. I mean, obviously like your release speed, the, the jump shot cue is obviously important because that affects the timing of it. But the base aspect of the jump shot is the most important. You see, I'm using Oscar Robertson and uh, Cam Johnson with JT Ford base. You can mess around with your upper and lower but I really do think Oscar Robertson and Cam Johnson feel really smooth. Like I said, that's why I'm putting this, like these gameplays in this video, because I know some people will just show you guys a jump shot and say, this is the best jump shot, but you have no proof. You haven't seen them play. You don't know if it's really the best jump shot. That's why I'm showing you guys, look at this jump shot. You can't tell me it doesn't look clean. And when you're playing, it feels really clean. It just feels like a super smooth jump shot. If I had to compare this jump shot to anything, if you guys played 2K20 and you watched me and you remember my custom jump shot, 98 LAG, this feels like a slightly slower version of that jump shot. I don't know why, but it just feels like that. The catch and shoot is absolutely smooth with this jump shot. And if you guys have watched me over the years, you know, I don't fade. I hate fading. I just, I think it's, I wouldn't say it's a cheap play style, but when you get open from three, from midi, it's fine. But from three, you shouldn't be able to just run and fade. You should have to stop. You should have to shoot. So I've always been a really, really big, you know, person that I like to shoot threes. I like to ISO, run around screens. I like every play style. So every year I find a jump shot like this. And you see, don't judge me. Please do not judge me. I am not the best dribbler right now, okay? I don't have, I don't even have the best SIGs right now. I know some of you guys are probably going to ask me. Quill, what's your dribble moves in this video? To be honest with you, I don't even know if I'm gonna stick with these dribble moves. Honestly, in my opinion, I'm kind of moving like a bot. And I don't know if you guys see that in these gameplays, but I really am not, I'm not satisfied with the way that I'm dribbling. And I definitely can do better. Now, obviously I don't have all my shooting badges maxed. I don't have all my playmaking badges maxed. When that does happen, my player will be infinitely better and a higher overall, he'll be infinitely better. But yeah, do not judge my dribbling in this gameplay. These three gameplays right here, I literally got on today, hopped in my career for a couple games to get loose, you know, get a, get a couple badges up. I got an extra overall. I'm now in 92, I believe. And uh, I said, yo, Rose, let's go to the park. I want to see if this jump shot is really cashing out in park. I played some games yesterday and it was, but that was when I was like an 85. Now I'm a 92. So I'm like, let me see how much better I shoot. And yeah, you can definitely tell the difference the higher overall this player gets the more badges i get with this jump shot and all those settings that i showed you this is going to be a really fun year 
if I can figure out how to dribble. Because so far, I think defense is amazing. And I feel like nobody can shoot, but obviously that'll change. But defense is amazing. No more rim running because defense is good. You actually bump them and you, you don't have those cheesy 6'9 builder limbless takeoff. So it's going to be a shooting year. You're going to need a good jump shot this year to, to be good. And to be honest, this is the one. Now, obviously, once I change this jump shot, immediately I will update you guys. Once I find the best dribble moves, immediately I will upload it, show you guys the best dribble moves that I am confident in. But right now, I'm just not. But I'm going to end the game here. I recommend putting this jump shot on. Trust me, it's the best one I've seen, the best one I've used. If you guys did enjoy the video, do me a favor, drop a like, sub if you're new, and I'm out.